All right, I know you're still standing, so I'll just get into the to the to the Bible today. Is that okay? So I hope you guys are still standing, so we'll just get into the Bible today. Is that okay? So I hope you guys are still standing, so we'll just get into the Bible today. Is that okay? So I hope you guys Thirty years old when he entered the service of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and Joseph went out from Pharaoh's presence and traveled throughout Egypt. Now, during the seven years of abundance that then produced plentifully, Joseph collected all the food produced in those seven years of abundance in Egypt and stored them in the cities. In each city. He put the food grown in the fields surrounding it. Joseph threw up huge quantities of grain, like the sand of the sea. It was so much. That he stopped keeping records because it was beyond measure. Now, before the years of famine came, two sons were born to Joseph by As- Asenath, daughter of Potiphar, priest of On. 创世纪四十一章四十六节到五十节，约瑟三十岁开始为法老效劳。他离开法老去巡视埃及各地。七个丰年之内，埃及粮食大丰收。约约瑟收集七个丰年出产的所有粮食，储藏进各城。每一座附近出产的粮食都存放在本城。约瑟积存了大量五谷，多如海沙，不可胜数。荒年来到前，安城祭司波提菲拉的女儿雅西娜给约瑟生了两个儿子。I'm so excited about what I want to preach today. 哇，好兴奋！我今天要讲的内容。I'm going to speak to you from the topic. 今天的讲道主题是 I get knocked down, but 任性十足的秘诀。I get knocked down, but 任性十足的秘诀。Now you got to be over 30 years old to know what I'm talking about. 你大概过了三十岁才知道我在说什么。就算我会跌倒。If you're if you're under 30 years old, if you're under 30 years old, 呃，小于三十岁。That's you. <laughs> if you're under 30 years old, and and you don't you don't know you don't know the song. 如果你不知道我在说的是哪一首歌。And you you can come out. I'll give you another sermon title for today. 那我给你今天另外一个讲道主题。This is my fight song. 这是哦，这是什么？这是我的呃，得胜之歌。Get back my life song. Like if you, you know, I, 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 this is people who don't know these songs. You are too holy. <laughs> you are my champion. Okay, you know the song. <laughs> Father, we thank you so much for today. 天父，我们为这今天献上感谢。For what you want to do. 不管你要做什么。We open up our hearts. 我们敞开我们的心。To receive. 领受。In Jesus' name. 奉主耶稣基督的名。All God's people say. 说神的百姓一起说。Amen. Amen. All right. Let's grab a seat. 请坐。Get to work. 我们开始了。Now, turning 30 years old is interesting. That 当你满三十岁的时候，蛮有趣的。Jesus, he began his ministry at the age of 30. 耶稣他开始服侍的时候呢，是在三十岁。David, he became the king at the age of 30. 也是在三十岁的时候成为国王。Now, even in today's society, 30 is a significant age. 就算在今天我们的社会当中，三十岁也是一个很重要的一个里程碑。It is. The age when you really decide, want to settle down and and make a career choice to decide what kind of career you want to have. Because in 30 years old, you will start to think about what you really want to be, what kind of life, what kind of career. That's about the time when you seriously start to think about maybe investments and savings. That's when you start to think about investing, about saving. Or some of you, maybe that's the time when you really start to. Take care of your body. Well, 那个时候你开始真的照顾自己的身体。So thirty is a watershed moment in our life. 所以三十岁有点像是一个分水岭的时刻。Now I know this might be a little bit divisive. 我知道这个有人可能持不同意见。But show of hands. 大家举手。How many of you think thirty years old is old? 有多少人觉得三十岁已经是可以说上是老了？哈哈哈哈 ，OK OK. I mean, you think you think 30 years old is young. 有多少人觉得三十岁还很年轻 ？Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Now I know, I know for some of you, 30 is a is a future number. 我知道对有些人来说，三十岁是一个未来的数字。I I don't know why I love seeing you guys fan. Like, I feel like I'm back in Tulsa, Oklahoma, in the black church. 我好喜欢看到大家一直晒风扇哦，感觉好像回到那个美国南部。Yeah, because I used to preach in the black. And anyways, so. 
Hallelujah. Preach it, Pastor. And I'm I'm sorry, like it's it's hot. Like woman the when woman when was eating tado ling uh busy ling shall just me on the Leo do Leo do but this is chin zu the lun chi just as a young sorry that air conditioning. It's really it's we it's doing its best. You pray for y'all. We need to pray for it to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Speaking tongues and but I know for some of us, 30 is a future number. And for some of us, 30 is a number in the past. Now, whether whichever is true, it doesn't really matter. The point is, there comes a point in your life when you have to make a choice. Mainly a choice about the type of person that you want to be. Because there comes a time, because when you're a little bit younger, you're thinking about you know, what school to go to, what career choice, but there has to come a point in your life when you don't just think about what you do, but who you are. And that could come at the age of 30. Or maybe at the age of 26. Or 46. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you have to say to yourself, from this day Forward. I will make a choice to be this. Did you know there is power in your choices? Because we saw that in the life of Joseph, there were so many things in Joseph's life that he had no control over. See, he didn't go on a goda and say, I would like to visit. Egypt. I want to see what the pyramids are like. No, no, he ended up in Egypt. It wasn't his choice. And yet he knew that there were enough things that's in his choice that, that he could make choices on that actually matter in his life. And the reason why Joseph was such an interesting person for us to study these past few weeks is that he understood his life was not shaped by the actions of others, but by the choices that he made. Now we just read that at the age of 30, Joseph traveled throughout Egypt. Egypt was not an easy place for him to travel through. The place represented a place of abandonment. A place of betrayal. But Joseph, he traveled throughout Egypt because he was entrusted with a mission to do so. And when you carry a mission, when you understand the mission that's on your life, you're able to face the difficulties that lay around you. Now, the mission that he carried was this. It was a mission from Pharaoh to prepare Egypt for what was to come. Because Joseph had interpreted a dream for Pharaoh and, and he said there's going to be seven years of abundance followed by seven years of famine. Now, you also have a mission in life. And you also, like Joseph, has to travel through things that you don't want to travel through. There are places, seasons, in your life that you don't want to travel through. But you have to. And you have to do it 
with a sense of mission in your mind. That I'm doing this. For my family. I'm doing this. For my future generations. I'm doing this. For the people that depend on me. And I got to learn to travel this journey well. I, I have to be able to be able to to travel through and come out victoriously. Now, it says Joseph traveled through Egypt and he gathered so much grain that they couldn't keep records. And I'm believing over your life that there will be victories upon victories upon victories, so much so that you will lose count. But you gotta know this. You gotta know that an easy life is not an option. If you're writing notes, write this down. An easy life is not an option. If you're not writing notes, Start taking notes and write this down. <laughs> an easy life is not an option. Just like you cannot walk into McDonald's and order beef noodle. It's not an option. God also doesn't give you an option of easy life or hard life. Because we are called to model our life only after one person. There's only one person that we're supposed to model our life after. And that's not somebody on Instagram. It's not somebody in, you know, who's successful in the whatever business that you're in. It is Jesus Christ. And let me ask you. He had an easy life. <laughs> or a difficult one. He literally says, you have to pick up your cross. And follow me. An easy life is not an option. So just because we have faith, doesn't mean we can wave the magic wand. And all the hard things will go away. You, you wave it and all of a sudden your manager doesn't come down hard on you for missing your sales target. Or, or you wave it and all your kids turn into angels. Just remember, Satan is a fallen angel too. <laughs> or you can just wave it and uh, you wave it and you get this, you wave it and you miss that, you wave it and this doesn't happen, you wave it and that door opens. God told Joseph about the seven years of abundance that was to come. And what Joseph couldn't have done was pray for another seven. How about make it 14, God? How about make it 21? Now God says there's going to be seven years of abundance followed by seven years of famine. And I wonder, I wonder how many of us still don't understand that there will always be good days in your life and then there will be Bad days. There will always be seasons when everything's going well. There will be days when you just can't wait to get up and, and, and do what's next. But then there will be days when you lay in bed, looking at the clock, looking at the time, and letting time go by, and you just can't find any strength to get up from your bed. And we think if I can just get more good days in, I'll be fine. If I can just, if my life can just have more good days and bad days. But you, we, we, we know that it doesn't matter how many good days you have, 
It takes just one bad day. But 通常我们都知道，不管你有多少个好日子，只要一个坏日子就毁了所有。One bad day is enough to ruin the other 364 good days. Come on. 一个坏日子就足够毁掉其他六三百六十四天的好日子。How many of you have friendships, years of friendship ruined in one bad conversation? 有多少人，你们多年来的友谊，在一个对话、一个不好的对话当中就毁掉了 ？So just trying to have more good days. Isn't going to help you. So we try to have more good days. It won't really help us. It's not going to help you. But you have to decide who you're going to be. So that when the bad days come, 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 so that And there are no grapes on the vine, though the olive crop fails and fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls. 在哈帕谷书里面说，即使无花果树不发芽，葡萄树不结果，橄榄树无收成，田地不产粮，圈里没有羊，棚里没有牛。So these are the things that he has no control over. 这些都是他没有办法控制的事。It's not that they don't work hard. It just This is it is what it is. 不是他们没有努力工作，而这就是现实。These bad days, these things, things don't always turn out the way you imagine or hope it to turn out. 就是事情常常不随着我们想要的发生。And he says, I have no control over these things. 他说我没有办法控制这些事。But look at what happened in verse eighteen. 但是你看第十七节呃十八节怎么说 ？He says, yet. I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God, my Savior. He said, "I will in Yahweh be joyful in the Lord, in God, my Savior." So he says, "These are things I have no control. These are things I have no control over. But who I am, I have 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 control over. But It's my responsibility. Is my responsibility. For those of you who are watching online, type in the chat who I am. It's my responsibility. So, in the online viewing, people say, "I'm who I am. It's my responsibility." Now, I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like a big word, right? I know responsibility sounds like Responsibility. It is the ability to respond well. 就是好好回应的能力。That's your responsibility. 这才是你的责任。To be in a state of mind, to be in a Place in your relationship with God that you can respond well to whatever comes. 在一个跟神的亲密关系跟状态当中，是能够好好去回应在你周遭发生的事。Respond to what? 要回应什么呢 ？Respond to the hardships and the suffering the life brings. 能够回应在你生命当中会经历到的困苦跟困难。That's your responsibility. 这才是你的责任。That's what God asks us to do. 这是神他要求我们做的。Look at this. Before the years of the famine came, this is Genesis 41. Two sons were born to Joseph. Joseph named his first son Manasseh and said, "It is because God has made me forget all my trouble and all my father's household." Now the second son he named Ephraim and said, "It is because God has made me fruitful in the land 
of my suffering. 在创世纪第四十一章五十节说，荒年来到前，安城祭司波提菲拉的女儿亚西娜给约瑟生了两个儿子。约瑟给长子取名叫马拿西，因为他说，上帝使我忘记一切的困苦和我父亲家。约瑟给次子取名叫以法莲，因为他说，上帝使我在受苦之地昌盛。There's two things he mentioned here. 在这里他提到两个事。He says, when I was in Egypt, there are these two things: there's my trouble and my suffering. 他说，在埃及地我遇到的有两件事，一个是我的困苦，是我的受苦。My trouble. 在我的困苦。My suffering. 并且在我的受苦中。Now, when I read that, I thought, okay. 当我读到这个时候，我心里想。I like trouble. I don't like the word my. I'm okay with the word trouble. I just don't like the word my. 我听我喜欢困苦这个字，但我不喜欢说我的困苦。Because I, I mean, trouble, fine. Like I understand that's what we need, but mine, like mine. 我们如果有遇到麻烦没关系，但我的麻烦。And I know Christ is a suffering servant. 我知道神耶稣他自己就是一个。His title is the suffering servant. 他就是一个受苦的仆人。And I know that's part of our discipleship, but I just don't like the word "my." I know this is one of our discipleship members, but I don't like the word "my." Most of the time, we like the word "my," but not in this case. Can it be yours? Can it be hers or his or theirs? Usually, we like things that are ours, but in this case, it's his. Can it be his? Can it be hers? Can it be yours? Can it be mine? 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 Can With your name on it. You know, your life in your life, there are many difficulties, many difficulties, many difficulties. There are 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 And then you're like, what? What? You still here? You know, your suffering, your trouble, your problem. It's more than Google Maps. 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 It's more than Google But a victorious life is. 但是一个得胜的生命在选项上。A victorious life is. 一个得胜的生命。Choose it. 当你这样选择。By choosing who you're going to be. 可以做出的选择是你要成为什么样的人。So Joseph, he found himself in the most difficult of all situations. 约瑟发现自己在一个最困难的一个环境中。He was so by his own flesh and blood. 他当时被他自己的骨肉给卖掉了。Betrayed. By his brothers, 被他的兄弟们背叛 ，left behind， 被抛弃 ，abandoned， 被遗弃 ，forgive forgotten， 完全的遗忘 ，and to make it worse， 更糟的是 ，he stood for what was right and ended up in prison。他为对的事情站立，但是却最后是在监牢里 ，and to make it worse。更糟的是 ，He helped somebody who forgot about him. 他帮助别人，结果别人却忘记了他。Talk about trouble after trouble after trouble. 想说麻烦，再麻烦，再麻烦。Yet, despite all of that, 但是不管这一切 ，He was still able to have two sons in Egypt. 他仍然可以在埃及地有两个孩子 ，and live a full life， 并且活出一个丰盛的生命。Now this makes me ask. Myself a question. So I won't come and ask myself, "What is my excuse then?" That my excuse is what? What's my excuse? What's my excuse? Isn't the God of Joseph? 
Oh, so my God? I mean, did, did, did God lose his power over time? Like, is it like a bell curve? Is it like over time? You know, it's like an isotope, you know, it's just over, had a half life. Is, it, is, is that what it is? Does, does, does the omnipotence, the omnipresence, the goodness, the love of God diminish time? Is there a formula that calculates? How God was more powerful during the time of Joseph and gradually just became less and less powerful and less and less involved and less and less loving and less and less, I'm sorry, this is really, you know, less and less <laughs> faithful to the promise as the years go by. Or do I believe that I serve the same God. Do you believe that the God of Joseph is also your God? And if God can do it for Joseph, God can do it for you. So what is your excuse? What is my excuse? What is my excuse? It's the same God. So Joseph, he named his first son Manasseh, which sounds like the Hebrew word forget. And he said, God has made me forget. And he, named, he had another son, a second son. And he named him Ephraim. Which sounds like the Hebrew word fruitful. Fruitful. Yeah, that's right. And then he, and he says this. He says, he says, God has helped me forget. God has, and then God has helped me be fruitful. His first son is forget. Second son, what comes next is fruitful. And I wonder what you need to forget before you can become Fruitful. What do you need to forget before you can enter into God's abundance? And I know you think it's hard to forget these hardship and pain. And I know, even to this day, when you close your eyes, you still feel that pain. It's been years since that thing happened. But when you close your eyes, it's like, it's, it's, it's like you're living that moment again. You're right in the middle of that moment again. And you say, I still feel it. I, 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 can't, I know, Peter, I know you're telling me for, to forget, but I can't forget. Peter, now, if that's how you think about forget, then you're right, Joseph didn't forget either. <laughs> he didn't forget either, right? When his brother came, did he go like, did you guys do something to me years ago? I forgot. I forgot. Why is it I'm here? Did I buy a one-way ticket and I didn't have the money? I didn't want to come home? Did I, did I meet a girl and didn't want to come home? What happened? But did I make, did I make Cleopatra? Like, did I? <laughs> Cleopatra. Never mind. Never mind. It's before your time. It's before my time, too. Cleopatra, it's okay. It's a okay. Name of my. Zongzi. Zongzi. Did I? Did I? What? What? Why? What did you guys do to me? 你们对我做了啥些事情啊? No, he remembers everything. No, he remembers everything. When Jesus said he has made me forget, he's not talking about like a men in black situation where everybody look at this pen. Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She saw, she's like, she's like, she told me that she understood the reference. She's like, I'm old enough to understand. And she says, because I've watched Men in Black 3. And I said, we watched Men in Black 1. <laughs> so 
So it's not that he doesn't remember. So it's not that he doesn't remember. To forget means to rise above the limitations of those memories. 忘记的意思是你能够超过，你能够越过这些记忆带给你的限制。To rise above them. So it doesn't mean you don't remember what happened. It means, it means, um, it means, it means these memories, these things from from the past, no longer have a limitations in the present for you. 不代表我们忘记了这些事情，而是我们决定这些事情不再限制我。You, you, you. Uh, uh, this is you probably have to be to to know this, but. Have you heard of the term "forget about it"? You have heard of it? Just forget about it. Forget about it. So you have to do it in Italian. It's forget about. It's 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 it's. You have to you have to stop just reading the Bible. You have to watch some mafia movies. Okay. You gotta watch. Don't need. Okay. Okay. You gotta watch. But forget about it. 就是要有带带一点意大利文的那个口音，然后大家不要再看圣经了，看一些黑道黑道电影。It's it's when. People say something to you, and you're like, forget about. It. Like, it doesn't matter. That's what it means. Forget about it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because it's not important. It doesn't matter. Because it's not important. Now, I wrote a book、um, last year. I wrote a book 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 In the book, but I must say there are many other stories that I didn't write in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. There are even more painful than the stories that are in the book. Because right now, where God has put me, what brought me to in this this point in my life, I don't need to keep going back and revisit. Well, it's because this happened to me. That's why. It's because that happened to me, and that's why. It's because I didn't get, and that's why. Because forget about it. Because God has already taken me to a point in my life where I don't need to keep going back and revisit. Well, it's because this happened to me. That's why. It's because I didn't get, and 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 that's why. Thing. When are you going to forget about it? 有多少人在我们当中二十年来，你一直都在做内在医治，但你还在讲同样的事情，是不是时候忘了吧？啊，呜，呜 ，I touch a, I touch a nerve. Okay. Okay, 有碰到某些的神经。I'll go there then if I touch a nerve. 好，如果碰到，我们就继续。I'm like, I'm all for healing and all that, but. There gotta be a time when you check out the hospital, right? 但是有时候你就是要离开，你必须要 check out 这个饭店了。You only, you, you, if you don't check out the hospital, it's like, how, when are you gonna start the rest of your life? 你是时候要出院了，不然你什么时候开始继续你的人生 ？You're not, you're not, you don't need to stay there. 你不需要一直待在那边，不需要待在医院里面。Whatever you need, come to God, fix it, then move on. 不管你需要什么，来到神的面前，继续往前行，继续往前行。God heals you so that you don't stay here. 神医治你就是为了你不要在同一个地方。God heals you so you can go there. 神医治你是为了你要去到下一个地方。Be able to move on. 我们必须要能够往前行，往前行，继续往前行，继续往前行，继续往前行。So he named his son Manasseh. 所以他取名叫做马拿西。Son Ephraim. 而次子叫做以法莲。Every time. 所以每一次。Those memories. 这些的记忆。Come back. 回来的时候。And they always come back. 而他们总是会回来。They will always come back. 这些记忆总是会回来。You will always remember what that person did. 你总是会记得那个人所做的事。You will always remember how that person left you. 你总会记得那个人怎么样离开你的。Those memories will always come back. 这些的记忆总是会回来。But he named his son. Manasseh and Ephraim, so that he can immediately shift his focus to God's faithfulness. 但是他把他的儿子取名叫马拿西跟以法莲，所以他马上能够重新回归到神的信实当中。Every time he remember what his brother did, 当他每一次记得他弟兄对他做的事 ，He said, "Manasseh, come here." 他就说马拿西，来到这里。Let's go for a walk. 我们去散步吧。
And it's up to you to shift the focus. And you have to learn to do that because life is filled with painful memories. When people have been through pain, you can always see it in their eyes. Because we all carry these memories. And people say the eye is like the window to the soul. And, and I bet you if, you if we would right now just take a look at the person next to us. I bet you if you would look at your neighbor long enough, don't do this, it's kind of creepy right now if you do it. But I'm just saying. If you look in their eyes long enough, I bet you many of them will actually start to weep. They will start to cry. Because they feel like some of these is looking into their past. And I bet you if you look at my eyes long enough, I will start to weep too. There are things from our past, pain that we even feel to this day. And sometimes when we're carrying these pain from the past, we make a conclusion to ourselves that I cannot go on. And that's probably how some of you feel today. You feel I cannot go on. And if that's how you feel today, I want you to lean in a little bit. And hear me when I say this. This moment in your life, this moment of pain in your life, this is just a moment in your life. This moment is not your life. And the way I would put it is this. This pain that might they get to punch you. They do. You're being punched by this pain over and over and over again. This pain, they get to punch you. But this pain don't get to put a period in your life. Have you been beaten? Have you, do you feel beaten down? Do you, do, you, do, you feel like, do you feel like do you feel like these things that just keep piling on and doesn't stop and doesn't stop and doesn't stop? And it's like one punch, left hook, right hook, uppercut, it just comes right, it's just one after another. One after another. And you, you watch people get punched in MMAs, you're like, ah, I, I know how that feels, man. That's that feels like life to me right now. That feels like life to me right now. That feels like life to me right now. But every time you get punched by this pain, you gotta talk back to the pain. You gotta be able to say, you get to punch me. But you don't get to put a period right here, right now in my life. There's somebody online right now. You gotta hear this. This pain doesn't get to put a period in your life right now. You can go on. You don't have to stop right now. You don't have to end it all right now. You can go on. I believe in you. I believe in, you. I believe in better days ahead for you. I believe that the best is yet to come. I believe there are bad days and there are good days. This is a bad day. This is a moment of pain. But this moment is not your life. This moment is not your life. 
Remember I told you earlier? That Ephraim, the name Ephraim? Sounds like the word fruitful in Hebrew? All right. Moments ago, when I told you that, that was Hebrew introductory class. That was Hebrew 101. Okay, can I, can you, I want to move you from 101 to 201. <laughs> this is Hebrew 201. This, can we take this? Can this church take Hebrew 201? I mean, this, Let's, let's go on to I'm so sorry this is I don't even know why that okay. this is Hebrew 201 right now We're going to, I, I just want to get to the next level for you okay? Hebrew sounds like oh sorry uh, Ephraim sounds like fruitful but here's Hebrew 201 we're going to talk about the root now, every Hebrew word comes from a root word and the root word for Ephraim is the word affer and affer has many meanings and one of the meanings is this because there's not a lot of Hebrew um, Vocabulary. There's only there's only a few thousands of them, so every word means a lot of different things all at once. The word affer means means bandage. Affer Bandage. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Oh, Bandage. Bandage. And I'm not even thinking. You are weird, Peter. Why do you get so excited knowing that the word Ephraim means bandage? Peter, bandage means something different in biblical times? No, the word bandage means exactly the same thing in biblical times as it does today. It means a piece of cloth you put over a wound. <laughs> That's the word bandage. Effer. Bandage. Effer. So, so, Peter, why are you so excited about the word bandage? Hey, Peter, because you only put a bandage on a person who is still Alive. You only put a bandage on a person who's still alive. The Egyptians have another bandage they put on. It's called Gosibu. It's they put it on mummies. It's like a shot. Mummies. But that's not what we're talking about. Because you're still alive. The pain that you feel, it means you're still alive. The pain that comes back again and again and again, it reminds you that you're still alive. And because you're still alive, you can still bear fruit. Because you're still alive. You can still bear fruit. And that's the spirit of Joseph. You can knock me down. But I get up again. You can knock me down. But I get up again. You can knock me down. But I get up again. And again. And again. And again, and again, you can send me to Egypt, but I get up again. You can send me into prison, but I can get up again. You can forget about me, but I can get up again. I can get up again. I can get up again. That's the spirit of Joseph. And so, years later, when his father Jacob was about to pass away, he called Joseph over. And he prophesied and prayed over his son. And this is what Jacob said about Joseph. Genesis 49. 
This is years later now. This is how many years old? He says, Joseph is a fruitful vine. Whew. Joseph is 多结果子 A fruitful vine near a spring. Now, every single one of them could probably be a sermon, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll hold back. But 每一个这个我都只想要写一篇讲道，但是我慢慢来。But watch this. He says, whose branches climb over a wall. Joseph is 多结果子的枝条长在水泉水泉旁，它的枝条探出墙外。What that means is, as this vine grows, 这个意思是它的枝条会成长 ，and it runs into a wall. 会探出墙外。The vine says to itself, 然后这个枝条就对自己说 ，This wall isn't going to stop me. 这个城墙才不会停，才不会让我停下。My winning does not stop by the wall. 我的成长不会因为这个墙而停。我的成长，我的得胜。I know how to get over the wall. 我知道怎么样探出墙外。I know how to get over the wall. 我知道怎么探出墙外。I know how to get over the wall. 我知道怎么探出墙外。Somebody shout, I can get over it. 有人说我可以探出墙，我可以克服。I can get over it. 我可以克服城墙。You get over it. 你可以克服。I spoke that to my son yesterday. 我这样子对我的儿子说。He was in a swimming pool, like a, and I mean a swimming, like it's not a pool. It's a, it's you buy it from Costco. It's one of these. 泳池。The wall was this tall. 大概就这么高而已。He was inside. 他在里面。He wanted to get out. 然后就想要出来。Daddy, can you get out? I said, Rafi. You can get over it. I can get over it. Rafi, you can get over it. You can get over it. You can get over it. That's cool. Oh. I can get over it, and then I found out. Joseph. Joseph. It's that vine. And he grows. And he grows. And he grows. And he grows. And there comes a wall. And he gets over it. And there comes another one. And he gets over it. And there comes another hardship. And there comes another pain. And he gets over it. And he gets over it. And he gets over it. And it says, with bitterness, the archers attack him. I like the English. It says with bitterness. It's like why can't we hit you? This archer in English says they attack him with bitterness. Why can't we knock you down? 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 Why can't we knock Remains steady. But his hands are strong. Against strong arms, stay limber. What that means is this: as the archers are shooting at him, just like these archers are shooting at him, Joseph will pick up his own bow and he's holding it. He's holding it. And when people shoot at him, and when people shoot at him, he can open it. But he's still. Holding on to his arch. But he still holds his arch. Now, in Taiwan, we know this phrase is called "holding on." Hold it, right? But this Taiwan phrase is called "holding on." Holding on. He's holding on. He's holding on. He's standing firm. He's standing firm. He's not letting these archers knock him out. 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 He's not letting these archers At the place of importance. He 被摆在一个重要的位置。And what he does. 而他做什么 ？Matters. 很重要。What he chooses. 他选择什么 ？Matters. 很重要。Who he is. 他是谁 ？Matters. 很重要。And he's holding on to it. 所以他握着这个弓箭。Despite what's going on. 不管这环境发生什么事。And that's what I'm believing over all of you. This is what I believe over all of you. We are standing on your feet. 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 So who can be against him? 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 So who can be against him
We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for walking with us. We thank you for standing next to us. For helping us. In every season. Through every pain. In every trial. Every time we fall. There you are. Every time we feel like we cannot go on anymore. Your word starts to speak. Every time we stumble. Your hand comes and lifts us up again. We thank you God. That today we can stand firm. We can have resilience and tenacity in our life. We can be fruitful despite what's going on. Because we know you are with us. Right here in this moment, we know you're faithful. I pray over all my brothers and sisters. That let not one of them give up. Let not one of them stop before you say stop. That none of them quit while you still have chapters and chapters, chapters ahead for you. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that every single one of us will be able to look to you. Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, knowing you who have brought us so far, will carry us to the end. So we bless you, and we thank you, in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. If you need prayer, come to the front right now. Come to the front. If you need God to touch you, come to the front right now.亲爱的朋友我想邀请你成为我们的一份子